Hey everybody, Mike Wine. Welcome to Wine with Wine, episode two. Uh, we're going to be doing this every Wednesday now. Every week here we're going to be doing at least one episode, but definitely on Wednesdays. So uh, keep it in mind, look out every Wednesday for a brand new episode. Uh, tasting these really awesome, uh, delicate wines from all over the world. 2,000 plus vineyards we're going to be uh Hopefully getting a sample here every week. I get them delivered to my door once a month, four bottles. Uh, it's pretty awesome. It takes the pain out of trying to uh, pick out uh, from all the different bottles you see at the store. Not really sure what you're getting into. Is it worth the price? Is it not worth the price? What am I paying for? Never have a problem with these wines. They know their quality. They're not $5, uh, you know, cheap little crappy hangover in a bottle of wines. These are quality wines. Uh, so stick with us every week. We're getting a little more deeper into reds, whites, education on some wine, everything we need to know about uh, sampling, having a wine tasting. We just had a wine tasting here a couple days ago. It was awesome. What a better way just to have some people over, sample some wines, just have some fun, have some food, some friends, you know, be social. Wine makes that so much easier just to uh, have a few drinks and, you know, have some fun, talk, relax, and uh, enjoy life. That's what we're here for. So, uh, getting a little deeper into our friend here from South Africa, the Reserve Bank. A uh, nice little red blend goes well with uh, just about anything, uh, especially in the summertime here. It's getting nice out. This is a, a nice, easy summer wine as well. It is a twist off, so twist offs don't knock them. They are a great way to help preserve the wine. Uh, if you're not going to be drinking a whole bottle at once, uh, which I don't recommend unless you got some friends to help you out. So uh, this is a, uh, like I said, a two, it's a young wine, 2016. So might not be a bad idea to uh, decanter this for a couple hours uh, to help really bring out everything um, from the wine. Again, just. Uh, I get some nice little tasty notes every month. Really helps let you know everything about the wine. You know, at the same time, Googling and finding the brand and everything. Uh, Reserve Bank is driven by the passion for discovery and desire to capture the real essence of South Africa in every bottle. Uh, can't wait to taste this again. So here we go. Pour, uh, you know, a little bit, four, five, six ounces in a red wine glass. That, that always helps. There are different glasses for different wines. Uh, this is your basic red wine glass. You can get a nice Rydell glass at Target, nice set. Uh, so, especially with a young wine like this, try to swirl it up, let it breathe a little bit, uh, being it's just coming out of the bottle. Give it some time to get some air, open things up nice and neat. Let's do a little smell test now. Very nice. Like I said, rich, nice red color to it. I do believe you will enjoy this red wine. I know I have. Let's roll it up a little more. Very nice, soft. It's not overpowering. Um, this blend is a classic of South African grape varieties. Um, so it's a dry red, uh, which is good to know. Um, in a South African tradition, well known and long established um, from the uh, the Cape of South Africa. So, like I said, uh, they describe it as a really juicy, accessible, soft, bright red. So, uh, pairs well with uh, by itself. I just you know need a glass of wine after work or a long day. Grab one of these, open it up. Can't go wrong. Uh, but if you're uh, having some people over, making some food, grilling out, throw on some uh, bacon cheeseburgers, some grilled sausages, or a nice pasta dish if it's cold out, winter time, some lamb, lamb chops. Can't go wrong. Great to pair with it. I don't have any of those in front of me, unfortunately, which it tasted uh, really nice right now. But uh, nonetheless, I'm going to enjoy it by myself. So here we go. Mm. 
definitely key like to really enjoy the wine you got to obviously you want to look at it see it you know like i said give it some nice swirls really try to open it up let it breathe smelling it is key it's good to kind of get some of uh, the uh really the the contents of it try to see what's in here <clears throat> kind of oaky barky-ish a little bit i guess um do this a few times three four times you get something different out of it every time Hmm. Awesome. And I do this at night, so I'm not uh, heading into work here so I can enjoy this glass. I don't have to spit it out. Uh, so that'd be a shame. So these are, um, like I said, obviously from South Africa, but next week is going to be a white. I'll probably mix it up from week to week, red, white, red, white, or just how I, or I feel, whatever I'm in the mood for. I'm going to have some guests here coming up soon, some friends here uh, that enjoy wine and uh, can offer some other tips and insights to wine that uh, I may not have. So let me know what you think. Um, the best way to get this is through the Direct Sellers Wine Club that I join. It's shipped to your door every month or shipped to your business, whatever the easiest place to uh, get some wine shipped to you once a month where you'll be awesome way can't think of an easier way like I said take all the hassle out I love this concept uh, well again what's better to get around people enjoy some wine enjoy some friends on a nice uh, Friday Saturday night nothing better to me so Cheers, as always. Again, we'll be doing this every Wednesday. Subscribe, stay in the loop, ask me questions, send me comments. I'd love to answer questions, comments. Uh, what do you think? Have you had this one? What do you think of other South African wines? What's your favorite region uh, type of wines? Uh, the wine industry is so vast. Everybody's palate is different. So there are no wrong answers here, folks. So. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, share this all over. So we will see you guys next Wednesday. Have an awesome week and make it a great day here on Wednesday. Take care.